Oh, he's he's gonna get there in time, even with traffic. He better not be having traffic. Where is he? Wait. Is he in traffic? You're supposed to let him go! That's not emergency services work! Okay, he is passing some people. Take a left. He's going, like, right up here. I mean, come on. They gotta put roads to it. Even their dirt, it should stop most of that. Come on, get up there, get up there. Save it, that's, that's important oil. Actually, it's probably empty, to be honest. Look, and the fire goes away. In this area, I was, it's the first fire I think we've had in there. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. It's been a couple days for me. Uh, this video has to go out tomorrow morning, uh, which will be the 12th of October. And I have a lot of stuff I want to do. As you all know, I'm trying to get the steel expansion area done. But before I always say that, I always do my little cadence in the beginning. Uh, if you're coming back again and again and again, thank you very much for doing it. So I really appreciate it. It really helps make this place what it is. Number two, if you're one of our patrons who bankrolls this place and basically your mer our Merchants Guild or you know Patreons, like it says, uh, you allow me to do what I do without having to beg for like, oh my god, please support and all this other stupid shit, like super, super cheers, no, whatever. It's nice to have that stuff, but since I'm primarily a Twitch guy, most people do it over there. And any of you that want to come say hi, my links are down below in the description. We are a gaming community. I try to treat everyone with base, basic decency. So it's like, hey, if you want to come over, great. But man, I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not someone who gives you money. I don't care. You're nice enough to watch. Good enough. And if you want to go farther, that's okay. But it's not going to be like the only metric I use to judge someone's worth. If you're brand new... Hopefully, after hearing all this stuff, you want to be part of this place, and maybe by the end of today's video, I can earn your subscription today. Now, we've got a lot on our plate, and I've tried really hard to hold this thing, like, at, like, you know, I'm trying to hold myself back, like, and here's why. Um, we have no source of steel yet. The steel is here, which is not built yet. It needs a lot of stuff. Resources need to finish, it just went over the next phase as I was sitting between videos. It needs 141 tons of bricks, 47 tons of boards, 17 tons of steel, a lot of work days, and then this is the total needed with this included. So we're still 300 tons of concrete, 241 tons of steel. I've been trying very hard not to go crazy because with all the steel in our nation, we have enough steel there for it if we don't keep going, but we're building other stuff. So we'll let this run in the background. And you can see our money's kind of, it's going up and down. It depends on what we're exporting at the time. Like we right now, I think we have some bitumen on the border, some bauxite. We have a fuel tanker going to the Soviet border and not enough exports in my mind. So I'm going to make a judgment call and I'm going to start at ASAP. Uh, one thing I want to show you before we start, I did put some roads in that I want to place along with some paths, some footpaths, and a kindergarten right here. None of this is being built um, with dollars. It's being built with resources, okay? This road's being built by resources. Uh, that's all, that road's being built by resources. This upgrade over here, I finally wanted to connect the oil area. I made a mistake with this, kinda, but not really. I wanted this to be able to go through this area eventually and connect back here. I really wish I had done that because now trains have to go down here, flip around and come out. And if I add another train in here from another line, let's say right through here, this is going to get very messy, like very messy. So I have to make some determinations. I could also redo the pipeline here. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I could also just move the refine and move another refinery somewhere else. But I think I like this area because this export terminal is helping a lot. Some other things we got to figure out. Okay. Um, Fuel area distribution all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the one reason I'm getting this done, this distribution site and this tanker area up here for fuel, one, we can have fuel go to this train station and then all of these bauxite sites, all little mines that are, that are bringing the bauxite in, one, two, three, four, and then this shipping area all take fuel. And if we can cut them off, from the supply, we'll even lower our, we've been lowering our expenses like crazy. And one thing that I think a lot of you might want to see, the power plant finished, but not fully. Um, the plant itself is done, but the push tower, I needed a push tower, I connected it directly, it was a mistake. So the push tower needs to be done and it's getting done very quickly. It just needs some steel, some mechanics. Unfortunately, so do those, so do those. So it's a little bit more than I thought, but it's okay. Eventually it will be cut off and will be better. Now. I gotta press the button to make sure all that works. I do wanna show you one other thing. I put a lot of roads up here for upgrade. So they can, I did put a little shunt in. I put a little shunt of um, a little side path over here to here to let this road be upgraded, this road to be upgraded. 
and this rotative grid, but not this one, because that way this distribution center will keep getting built. I put this one here too, in addition, this one's gonna be the brick one. This one's gonna be oil and fuel from this area because you'll see what's gonna happen with that very shortly. Everything else up here, I think I showed the last video. I wanted to make sure I didn't, you know, put a few things that you guys didn't see. And this loading area helps a great deal. And you can see they're using all the aggregate storage they need. This one here, it's building up. We might be able to stop pushing from this one over with a line, because right now there's a small little line up here of two vehicles. And all they do is go from here to here, they dump gravel in. I think we're at the point we don't need that line anymore, but I don't have any use for those trucks yet. So I think you're all caught up with everything I ha that happened between episodes. It was a little tiny, I don't wanna call it a jump cut. It was more along the lines of I just let it run a little bit to fix a, little, a few little things I placed things down, and I didn't let it run too much. But there is a lot more traffic. It's getting annoying at this point. I think I'm gonna have to change this. Um, number two, the interview for two is, I'm gonna move this up and change the interval to 10 seconds because there's a lot of traffic coming this way. That means these two, four and two, will have 10 seconds to go this way and this way, and this will only have five. And we're not having much traffic go up this way. It's just 15. Why does it keep changing? Five. So five and 10, that should do it. We'll see. Okay, let's see if that happens. I'm hoping it'll fix it up. It's been getting better, but not great. This road and stuff. All right, we're gonna hit the button and let all that, all those roads start getting built. They're not getting built for cash. They're getting built for resources. This is important to keep mentioning because I'm trying really hard not to waste every resource I have. Um, construction has stopped. Yeah, we need more people down here. We need a bus depot down here that's gonna just transfer people and I need to get it done soon. This is what this road's for, but it's not done yet. Uh, that needs 22 work days. It's, it's getting done, I don't know how. How's it getting done? There's, oh, it's the, it's, the, it's the roller. When the roller hits back to here, the road will be done, good enough. This road is done, this rail, I did the rails over the roads with money and I did everything else without. So I'm hoping that this area can get up as soon as possible, get filled, and then we can start getting the rails to start pushing, getting, building our own rail with our own steel. It's gonna take a lot of time. It's driving me nuts. I love seeing this stuff happen though. This is the distribution center for the fueling area. And you're seeing them drop off boards and cement and steel and bricks. And there's very little left. Building's on fire. No, 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 no. Oil fuel storage. Oh, God damn it. Oh, wait. Wait, it's already, someone's already on their way. Can I see the truck on its way? Please go faster. Please go faster. You should have, you should have full. With capacity. I mean, he should be fine. It's a, it's a direct route over there. Okay. I told you that. Coal expansion area. And, oh, let's go do that. So while he's he's going to get there in time, even with traffic, he better not be having traffic. Where is he? Wait. Is he in traffic? You're supposed to let him go. That's not how emergency services work. Okay, he is passing some people. Take a left. He's going like right up here. I mean, come on. They gotta put roads to it, even their dirt. It should stop most of that. Come on, get up there, get up there. Save it, that's that's important oil. Actually, it's probably empty, to be honest. Look, and the fire goes away. In this area, I was, it's the first fire I think we've had in there. How's that doing? That's maxed out, of course it is. And the fire's gone, good, now, yeah, all done. Get rid of this and this. Now, we've seen that, we've got a million of each. I wanna see one thing, this, this area has 13 tons of gravel. Now, one thing I will tell you, I did something off stream or off recording that I think a lot of you will like. I actually went over here and I put in a couple more trucks to load and unload uh, gravel down there because we're going to be using a lot more gravel down there than up here. And I think what we can do, what, what, what is this? What, what do you mean what? What? View area, uh-oh. You can't get there? Why? Why can't you get there? Oh, you go down here and you go over, you go, I think they go over like this way and they can't figure it out. Yeah, there's no way for them to get over there. No, they should. Oh, it's up here. Oh, okay, we'll have to pay for some stuff. If I, they're gonna be stuck for a little bit. But the thing about that is they're supplying this area which is maxed out. So I'm gonna say you can be dis you can be disturbed for all I care. 
I love seeing that everything jumps in a, in a uh, quick little um, production for doing the roads because the roads are expensive and I don't want to spend money on them anymore. I want to build with our own resources. We're going to keep going. Sorry about the little disruptions. Let's see. Coal power, I told you about that. Power station, I showed it. So this will be done. We have to set up a bus line for this, but I'm not going to until this is done. And right now, the last thing is this. Traffic jam. How do you... How? What? What? In traffic jam. Uh, they're, they're cutting stone. Shut up. You're, that's what you're supposed to do. Where do you send this? You send it. You're not working quickly. Oh, there's none of workers. Alright, where's the related vehicles? Lumber mill. That's not good enough. You should be fine. Okay. I think what's going on is... Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's getting pretty bad. See, I'm letting this run as quick as I... What I really wish I could do is tell people go a certain way. And they're all going this way, and they shouldn't be. Like, th that truck right there, that's a cement vehicle. It's going up this way to go here. This is too much traffic down this road. We need to plan another route. Where that other route's going to be, I have no freaking clue. Uh, that's a really good question. I... Hmm. Can you upgrade with, like... What, maximum speed, 110? No, I can't go any faster than that. <sighs> I... Hmm. I could make a, an extra road here, down this way. Go over this way. And just try to snake it up through. That might not be a bad idea. Because when they see that, they're going to go, Hey, uh, no, they're not, because I can't get them here. That's a problem. That's a problem. If any of you have a suggestion, I have no idea. I know, and I know, before anyone says anything, Ryan Munin, I know you're going to say, Train station! I know, and I want to put them in. I don't have the steel. Do you understand? There's no electronic components yet. I will let them clear out for a minute. Oh, the train's in the way, too. And then this crap gets in the way. One and three. Wait. One in three is five seconds. I did this backwards. Okay, wait a minute. So you, interval, should actually be 15 seconds. I was wrong on this. It's my own mistake. 15 for that. 10 seconds for that should be more than a good. And save. Let's see if that works. So two and four being green should only be 10 seconds. This gets 15. I actually might want to make it 20. Yeah, I'm going to make it 20. 20 seconds. Get out of there quicker. And then everything else here gets 10 seconds to go back and forth. That might be better. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people get out of the way. That way they fill up both lines. There you go. That's solved it without having to make a... Those, no, 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 no. Except changes. Okay, good. So that's done. I have to have a, I have to have a, um, a list of something. Show water. Oh, I built a water connection. I want to show you guys this. I figured something out that I made a mistake on. You can see the piles of dirt. Uh, the reason for that, this building here... This is a water loading, unloading area. And I, I figured out why my town basically died. I had I didn't have any redundancy in the system. So this water area will let water trucks from my, uh, I think up here. No, uh, this one? Yeah, this one, technical services. It has sewage uh, trucks. I can also put a water truck on here, which I can find it. Uh, if I put some water trucks, I have to get a, I'll have to get rid of a couple of these. But what they'll do is if there's a shortage in the system, they'll go get water and they'll dump it in here compared to letting the pipes try to carry the pressure, which will relieve pressure on the system, pun not intended. So that'll help out that. Okay, I told you that. Showed water. Send more people to train depot. Ah, yes. So this one here, when trains come in, uh, it gets 45 people and it gets out. It's not enough. So let's go look at their oil refinery for one second. Why they build. And I also put some roads over here like I showed you. Now, the oil refinery has 347 people and another train coming in with 227. I think it's working maximum speed. And we're getting a lot of fuel. Like We're getting about one fuel a second, if not more. Bitumen, 0.5 a second, maybe. Maybe a little, a little less. And there's almost maxed out people. I don't think we need to put more people in there yet. I'm prepared to. And what I mean by that is there's people there. Uh, nothing there. And oh, nothing there, so we have to build uh, we have to build more um, apartment buildings on this on this little diagonal right here, or put more services in between, because what I want to do is put a, a train line in there. Show more, some more people set up line exporting construction mats. Yeah, let's get that done.
So before anyone thinks I'm making a mistake, um, these these are maxed out. That's maxed out. They keep, they're showing up to work and nothing's happening. Same with this. I mean, there's so many trucks ready to drop off wood. It's stupid. And this one's maxed out. The panel area is maxed out. So my thought is, if I run a line from the brick the bricks to like right about let's say, I don't know, like maybe here-ish, because this well maybe I can tie it right in like this to that line, because they don't need all that length for that. He can come off, go over here, and I'll make a little uh, turn this way. And he'll go up here and start dropping bricks. Then he can drop wood, and then he can drop panels. When all three are done, one trip each, then they'll go to the Soviet border. Now you're going to say, that's a long time. And you're right, because I don't want to get rid of these materials. I just want to make sure they're always producing, compared to going, oh, it's all gone, or there's overages, and they're coming to work going, oh, nothing new today. Can't put this anywhere, because someone's going to say, build more storages, which is not a good solution either. So we're going to build that right now. So first things first, we're going to spend some dollar bills on this one. We're going to pause it for one second. Actually, we don't have to pause it. Concrete, and we're going to go from here to basically... I'm going to take it very aggressively here. Oh, crap, I used my own resources. Uh, no. So let me do this one's going to be with cash. That's $8,000. Next one I'm going to put on is straight up cash. We're going to put in a rail line. Con uh, it's going to be concrete. I wish I could build my own, but I don't want to yet. Ooh, that's not good. So let's remove the rail a little bit. Mm, like that. Thank you for... I think it was Hat to Sat. I don't think he even watches it anymore, which is fine, because he has his own channel and his own YouTube and his own stream. And he's a good guy that I like a lot. Um, hmm. I'm going to put it like this. Then we're going to tie it in like that. And then we're going to put a signal on it. And it's going to be a chain. It's going to be a chain in, a chain in, and it's already chained in. This way here is going to be like that, like that, and like all that, and I can get rid of the one in the middle. That should be more than enough to get him up here. Okay, so that's already turned in. Now we've got a train. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy a new train. I know it's going to cost money. I know. We need a diesel locomotive. I really want that, but here's the reason I'm not going to. I want to make sure I explain this all the time. I like this one. It's uh, $92,000. It goes 104. It's 1,470 kilowatt engine power. It can go maximum speed to 100. This one, maximum speed is 95. It's a little less for 1,000 more. I don't understand why that one. It must be more fuel efficient. I have no idea. Empty weight is 120. No, this one's better than every way. The T678. I would get this, and here's why I won't. Uh, every other train on my network is slow as dirt. So, yeah, it's good to send that down, but it's going to keep going to the back of other trains going, hey, hey, and it's, it's going to do nothing. So we're going to get one of these. We're going to go for a cargo wagon. We're going to get the new ones. The um, This one holds 55 tons of bricks. This one holds 53. So this one has, and panels, it does 62. This one does 60. This one does 69 boards. Very nice. And this one does 67 boards. And then finally, and the reason I'm doing this, is steel and aluminum, 69 each. I'm 12. Nice. This one, 67 each. So it's going to pay itself off pretty quick. With this train that we're setting up, as soon as the steel mill calls, comes up, we'll send it up there and get steel. But why it's, we don't want to destroy the price of steel. So we, if we put, plus we want to use some of it ourselves for our thirsty economy. If we have panels, boards, and bricks being exported, we can always change it down a little bit as we need to. But we'll have so much extra steel in the system, we won't have to run out and go, oh, our steel's being exported. No. It'll be a nice balance. Plus... And a lot of you might not know this. In the patch notes, if you go to a border and sell once and 70 di 75 days passes, you will not destroy the price. If it's a little bit extra, it'll actually go back up to normal or higher. Didn't know that? It's okay. It's this something I read, so I, I want to take advantage of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn it! That's why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn you can't put you up there all right well let's leave for the next train all right so you i was really hoping I, there's no reason to let that car i can sell it but I'm, I'm not going to all right so you your new new stop is to go to these places we're going to send a little a little um we're going to send a little uh love to the american border because we're going to use a lot of we keep using dollars so first you're going to go here you're going to load bricks then you're going to go to balcoa um, I have a question. If any of you Patreons watch this, if you want to be named for that station, let me know. 
If not, I'm going to name someone soon. But uh, this video will go out tomorrow. I have an idea, too. I want to make something special if I get to it. And I think he'll be watching this one. So I'm not going to say anything yet, but unload bricks. Then you're going to go to... Oh, I can't. I haven't, I haven't done that yet. All right. I'm going to leave this train up. Leave this train where it is. So first thing, we need another line here. We need this one. Build with dollar bills. We need a line to go to this one. Not this one. That's raw wood. We don't need that. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go like that. We're going to go like this. There you go. So when he comes back out, he'll come down here. And he'll go like this. Now what that does is screw up the signaling, of course. But now that's up, so we can fix it. So chain in not out uh chain in chain right that's be both ways where it doesn't go anywhere so that's chained in chain in chain in normal out normal out am i missing something if you go down here you, you, this whole segment has to be empty i don't think that's right because if someone's going the other way, I don't want him to have to do that. But I can't put him up there. Is there any way to make that smarter? I think the answer is no, and that's okay. Because it's a very small system. Because if someone comes over here, they'll just run on through. I'm going to remove a signal. That one. And put it over here. Should cover most of that. I think that's good. Okay, and up here is good. No, this one doesn't have it either. Shit. Um, you're going to go up this line because you can. And you're going to give me this. And you're going to go here. And you're going to go this. That's a weird angle, but I'll, I mean, well. Okay, so you go up there. And then when you come back, you go like this. And go like so. Build it. Okay. Signal in. Chain in. Sorry about the noise. Chain in. Chain in. Chain in. And then outs are not chained. Mm. You're only going to go in. You're not going to go out. You go out. That's not double. It might need to be, but not now. I think that's going to work. That's going to work. This one up here can be both ways. That's both ways. I hope that works. Okay, now we can get our little train. Shut up. Wow. Oh, my God. I hate that. When you ha you hold the thing, it's ding, ding, ding the entire time. I need my shit here. You can hear that. Okay, you come here. What's his name? Uh, citizens loyalty seems low. Traffic jam. Traffic, the traffic jam's okay. Kill all this, please, no? Now, we got the, the brick thing done first. We're going to close you for a minute. Mm -hmm. I love how accurate I am in these games. So good. So good. Okay, so after that run, you're going to go from here. New vehicle type, that's another tram. Right, Munin? I know what you're going to say. Uh, then you're going to go up to here, and you're going to pick up load boards. And you're going to go here. And you're going to wait until unloaded. This one is uh, unload, and you're going to wait until unloaded. And then you're going to go from boards to the border. Unload everything, wait until unloaded. And then you're going to come back, and the last thing you're going to do is go up here for panels. You're going to load prefab panels. You're going to go up to this border sign, and then you're going to unload everything. Wait until unloaded, and then you're going to go back to the bricks stop. You're going to load bricks, and you're going to go to write-off. Hope you're, I don't think you're watching, dude, but thank you so much for your support over these years. You've been awesome. You load bricks. You're going to come back up. And then you're going to do... And we're, we're doing this. We're going to let them go for now. You're going to do boards, and this is not going to work. Uh, you're going to get boards. And you're going to go back to right off again. It's going to use fuel, but we, we make our own fuel. It's not free, but it is close. Unload boards. You're going to come up and do panels. And then this thing could be... This will be trained, ch trained changed later on. Prefab panels, and then you're going to go down here and unload all the things, and that'll be it. And then you're going to um, 
to start. And we can watch him for a second if we want to. And he's going to go, and he's a, he's a pretty fast train. There are some older trains up on the thing. i got to like, kind of move a wet round, but he will start making us a little bit more money. That's a very quick little triple bang of bricks, panels, and lumber to the border. And uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to say anything until someone, if, if someone makes themselves known that's a, that's a Patreon and wants that border, I'll, I'd gladly, take, I'll, I'd rather say, hey, like I do up here for Steve Slice, who makes me a bunch of money, because we've ex exported a ton to that place. Okay, so that's done. We're 24 minutes. Roads put to refinery and upgrades. Um, I did do the roads to refinery. Construction. Um, there is a way to, what I was debating doing over here was basically, I could put a small construction office like right here or maybe a little bit farther back and have the people walk here with a walking path and then have them start upgrading all this area, including a road over to this train station because this train station now has a car in it. And if you have a train or a car or anything in the station, as soon as it goes on fire, you can't take the train out. You have to re rescue it. And if there's no, there's no fire support, it'll destroy it and you'll lose it. And I've seen that happen. That's the TV-61. I think that's... I wish this would tell us what this does. I think it's over here. Let me see something. Pasture wagon. TV-61. 110 passengers weighs 54 tons! Why would you not do the 35 ton, 125 passenger UIC wagon, which costs less money? It's It weighs less. It costs less. It has more people. But why, why would you do that? Okay, so that's all been taken care of. We're at 25, 26 minutes in. Uh-huh. I don't know if there's anything else we can do. We've been, let's see if there's anything else done, done. Yep, there is. Okay, that's done. This is done, but has nothing in it. We're gonna have it hold fuel. And we need to start moving fuel down here. Now, there's another way we could do this. We could also shuttle it over with a ship. Or, we could truck it over. That's what this line is for. I was actually debating putting a, a road connection from here to here. And then making these roads finish because this road is getting upgraded as we speak. It's going to take some time, obviously, but they are working on it every second of every day. So I'm like, hmm, this road up here is now done, which no one, there's a few people using it. That's good. This rail area is still getting worked on. Damn it. Taking so much time. Also, one thing I should show is under the underground here. The pipe going here to this fuel area. We need to start getting fuel over here now. The problem is I don't know how because... Every road into the refinery is under construction. The other way to do it is to have, and it, yeah, those trucks are still pissed off because like, hey, we can't get there. You've, you've blocked off our road. Yeah, I have, but you're not moving stuff we need because the coal right now is going to, I think nothing. Is this done? It's still not done. Really? What are you waiting for? Construction office 30. You're working on train aggregate. Oh, you're overloaded. One thing you should do if you play this game is make sure your your uh, construction areas have a very high range. Like this one's only doing um, 1,000 meters. This one is 3,000 meters, 3,000 meters, 3,000 meters, 3,000 meters. Okay, so they're all they're all good, good ish. They also finished the train station off. Now that's back in operation after it burned down. Um. I might want to do something here, and the thing is, okay, look, if I if I can if I hit the, hit the construction thing on this, this is twelve hundred bucks. This is nineteen hundred bucks, and we could have the power running now and start. Yeah, we're gonna save money. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna let this run for a second. I don't think anything's on the way to this. I see all related vehicles. I see a skid. Where he's back, almost here actually. So what's he ordered? He's bringing in workers. So he's waiting for the turn. So his he might be the one that does save most of our money. It's 51 workers in there, man. That's a lot. Okay, so you get in there. And thank you. That was actually what we needed. That's all we needed. So that, that's going to be finished right away. It saves 200 bucks. So if that power plant goes up, look what we do. The last month, we import of resources. 58, uh, actually go back to this one. It's actually American. It is uh, $19,000 in power last month, which is actually going down. And the reason it's going down 
a lot of our industries are maxed out like the bricks, panels, and wood. They don't need power right now. So this is going to come on. So if we do it right now, we could actually have the coal coming here go into the power plant because right now the heating thing is turned off because winters are off. So I'm sorry. i got to fix that. i got to figure out how to fix that. But it will remove that cost. See, this is all that's left for import. We have $118,000 a month. Power will be take, turned off and steel will be turned off, which is like the lion's share of this. Mechanical components, electrical components, we can't turn that off. Chemicals, we can't turn that off yet. And food, meat, and clothes has not been pushed. So I think it's all Soviet. No, this is export. Import from the Soviet bloc. Food is 23 grand. Meat is 9,400. Clothes, 7,000. Electronics, 60. See what I mean? It's not much. There's very little. I think the next thing we should do is work on food. I really mean that. If you liked what you saw today, I'm going to figure this out between episode if I, what I want to do. If you like what you saw today, do me a favor. Debate the idea of hitting the subscribe, aka follow button. If you want to join us on Discord or on the Twitch channel, those links are down below in the description. And if you want to hit other buttons, well, that's always up to you. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next episode.